Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here. Welcome back to my channel. Let's go for a little walk. So as you can see today, I'm back in the woods. And I thought I'd quickly share a quick wild edible that's quite abundant this time of year. Easily identifiable. Makes a nice addition to a salad. And um, if treated with respect is a renewable food source and um, let's go for a walk and I'll show you what that little fella is okay so down here very common over here in the UK we have the humble primrose beautiful little thing and there's plenty of those about this time of year so I'll show you what to look for in its ident. Okay, so I'll try and give you a close up. It's just a very common plant, the primrose. You do well to get this one wrong. So as you can see there, the five lobed petal with the deep yellow center. And this is like a yellowish magnolia color flower. As you can see the newly merged from the uh, from the pulp there the leaves have a almost lettuce like a dock lettuce type of appearance and they are quite furry underneath and you'll notice the edges always curl in the veins run off the main center you can see a purplish tinge to the core of the plant down there. Like I say, they're very common over in the UK and you would have to go a long ways to get these wrong with your ident. They are found in white, pinks, and through to the purple range of colours, but um, all of which are edible, but especially with the purple ones, really be careful on your ID. Make sure you are getting what you think you are. Like with any wild foraged edible, you know, if in doubt, leave it out. Be absolutely 100% sure before you attempt to eat anything. So that's the uh, the primrose anyway. Nice little wild edible. Okay, so there's a, a small patch of primrose here. I don't know if you can see or not, beautiful little things really. And again, when foraging and collecting wild edibles, it's just my opinion, but don't decimate an entire plant. Just take a few um, of what you want from each growth. So you're not decimating it, you're not killing it off. Allow it enough um, sustainability so it can feed itself. So that being said, I would take a couple of them. Um, being visited by a hair behind me. <laughs> a couple of the actual petals off. You know, these are all, let me just bring you up here. They're all perfectly edible, as they are. Mm. And they do have a vanilla sort of sweetness to them. They're not, not horrible at all. And, So what I would do with the leaves, just pinch off a couple of the very young tender leaves because these are going to be the sweetest. Obviously you can steep these, blanch them, add them with something like a rice or just include them with a salad as they are already. So again, perfectly edible. Mm. And the leaves have got a slight astringency to them, but Again, almost a um, 
a spearmint flavour to them. Not horrible at all, but better blanched, better steamed, you know. Mm. Nice little wild edible then, and that's the primrose. So, when you're walking about, there's plenty of them. Just take a little from each one. Before you know it, you've got yourself a nice foraged wild edible. Yeah. So, that wraps it up for me for this one. Just a quick one. Um, thank you all very much for your continued support and watching. Hope you find some of these little videos interesting, you know, if not entertaining. And until next time, which won't be long, take care. Mad Dog signing off. Yeah!